Hello. <laughs> oh my god, my voice. All right, we're gonna play a new game. This is a quick game, so we'll see how this goes. Alrighty. Oh, I had rest. Please, head rest. Oh, this thing hurts. Okay. Oh god, I thought he had a fucking knife for a second. I need a voice for the detective. <laughs> I might just have to do my voice. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. <clears throat> Hi, supervisor. How's life? Yeah, pretty pretty good, I reckon. Uh, this, this thing's so cute. Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Oh, what? Well. Salamat oh, Takan Kambali. Means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a cage for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. So she's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. The island for two weeks. Whoa. Ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. Can you help? You're know, the greatest investigator I have. So to them. I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Okay. So I'm asking you to shake your best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities are far away my own. Yeah, but, uh, you're pretty good. Uh, so, are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. Grab my phone in a second, put my phone in chat in a second. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. I'll do it. Whoa! <laughs> Could you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. Basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around the island. He calls in a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. A 
it's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. But fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. That's see you later, Supervisor. Fucking sensitivity, man. No, no, I ain't no choice. Okay, that's fine. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve my streets without it. I got achievements of good detecting, friend. It's time to solve a mystery. from the step since. Frog Defective Adventure. Programming by Thomas Balka. Soundtrack by Dan Gold. Notes. Hmm, maybe man in a suit. Oh god, I have to do a voice with a monkey. Ah, you finally made it! Oh, thank you for coming on such a short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest in Witch Town, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, my mystery monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke and you responded. Oh god, we've got a we've got a fan. Of course, I remember. Hi, mystery monkey 49. Please, Mr. Monkey Mr. Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Uh, of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Where does... Uh, who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? <laughs> hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think he mostly wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. <laughs> I'll check it out, thanks. What would you like to know? Uh, the resident. May I ask who the resident of the island is? Ah, oh, that's not what we want. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Very interesting. I'll investigate. I think I'll come back after some investigation. See you around. Interesting. 
Very interesting. Ha! Ah, it's me, Larry. Uh, uh, I did not do it. Uh huh? The noises are not coming from me. I, I didn't. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's not, like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing. Oh, you're not? It's such a relief. Can I... Are you going to ask me some questions? Yeah, ask me then. The questions, I mean. <laughs> Hi, Graywin. <laughs> <laughs> the, the noises what can you tell me about them so, uh, firstly I am not the one making them yep but I know where they're coming from I... what coming from the cave in the forest why haven't you told anyone nobody listens to me they say stuff like well Larry if you won't listen to me to us we won't listen to you which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe it's a... I'm really a great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get to there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Oh! Okay, Larry. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyways, I'll need a few things. I'll look up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. Oh, boy. I need toothpaste, some wool... A chunk of pure gold in pasta. <laughs> a toothpaste, wool, a chunk of pure gold in some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Right, so if you want to get to that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, them questions I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste, wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Okay. Oh, he's got pasta. Can I have your pasta? Hey, you're the detective, right? The one the monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad I finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you, do you think that? The job said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One well, that only small people could figure out. Block me. Uh, it could still be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm really joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. Where do you know the noise is coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this. I'm good at other jobs, just letting you know. But it does seem like the noises are coming from this hole aren't a natural creature. They seem out of work, me somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Well, wow, that's a lot of good information. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ugh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example... You've got a cool magnifying glass. I guess I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie Winks! Maybe we can't be secret agent. Things I'd give up for a magnifying glass. There's nothing more. I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? I'm not giving him my magnifying glass. I need my magnifying glass. But I want his pasta. <laughs> How am I supposed to look at the starfish? Oh, I 
really don't like how he's like, why are we laying on the things like this? What the fuck? Howdy. H Hello. Are you, uh, the, uh, yeah. Oh, great. You, you brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh. Oh. Okay, can I call you d -tech? Yes. Nash. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, d -tech. Your clothes. Aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last three weeks. Very important. <sighs> Take a break. Get some zoom. You're right. Um, not about the sun. How about taking the day off? Yeah, I did a good day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, d -tink. Smile. I hope you don't mind saying, but you have wonderful tea. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 tooth whitening cool paste for tea, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 cool tooth paste for sleep. Okay. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. Down to my last two. Wow, well, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have tea? Uh, uh, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take a little tea, Dick. Uh, no, thank you. Later. See you later, D-Tank. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Howdy. What are you doing there? It's swimming. Uh, but there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim. So yes, it is. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. Don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask you why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh? Why? Boats are fast. I am not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have an idea where to find one, though. Even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises come from the holes around the island. It freaked me out so badly, I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks? Oh. Oh, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. I think it's need to know. The magnet. Why'd you want that magnet again? Oh. I give this big shell in return. So it might be magnetic. I thought I thought it might be magnetic, it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? Right, okay. Is there anything you need to know? Not right now. Nothing for me, but I'll come back. This is fun, but I gotta get back to work. <laughs> D 
do, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give them back. Oh, he drew a self portrait. Notes. Some some whole noises need tomatoes. Well, who is ghost? I am not qualified. This might come in handy. I got a magnet. Right, you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. It's a dream come true. Thank you so much. No, no problem. In turn, I give you this big shell. I don't need it anyways. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Did we, was a shell one of our items? I can't even remember. Science line, don't go in. What are these? What the fuck are these things? Uh, noodle. Oh god, I need a voice for noodle. Noodle. Hey, how's it hanging? <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Bored mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Oh, that's wool. <laughs> Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. Usually cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare me. There's wool everywhere. I think everyone's grossed out by it. Oh, surely that's not true. Yeah, maybe not. But it feels true to my heart. Oh, I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? And my jumper is made of wool. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah. that's weird. <laughs> it's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, what if I wore a coat made of slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyways. I'd say that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. First time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Grouch! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your woolen wool, not your shirt. Ugh, yes please, but you need something to clean it up with. Like a broom, or like, fire. Cool, oh, okay. But I won't use fire. Okay. I can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? I don't have some more questions to ask away. This hole. Why did you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. What? Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. It looks. I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. You don't get so it's coming from the hole. Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. We should hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. What if I ask some more questions? Can I just go in the hole? I should have listened to the song. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. 
fuck? What the fuck? Absolutely. Uh, can I keep your wool? It's too weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically, knock yourself out. <laughs> He's just chilling with the broom now. Alright, guess we gotta talk to these other people. Oh, he's got a magnifying glass too. detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. Yeah, embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. Not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, it's okay if... Is it okay if I ask a question? You have some questions? Qu questions, yes. Uh, the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Uh, aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast? Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions, yes. You're nervous. So I'm very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because the detective thing I told you. Um... I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about being a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. Oh, so why are you so afraid of me? Fine! You warned me down! Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of the mystery monkey. Mystery monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mr. Rogan's super neat. I don't want to be embarrassed in case they mess everything up. Uh oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know the style of dance that will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey to find out? Give this mouth. Mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing. I'll do my best. Shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I, I will. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and shawl. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Oh, okay. Are you still going to stand up like that? Yeah! Why? I'm alarmed. I'm alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't need to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. 
Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. My tiny shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. Yeah, if I could get one, sure, this magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Well, I have a big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyways, I totally want that shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Okay. Alright, let's talk to the sloth. My, what, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you with frog detective fear for the agency. Oh, don't sneak up like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine, that's just don't look so spooky. But they are doing their best. Sorry, I'm so cranky, I haven't slept in two weeks. Man, king of the island. Your king? Well, I got here when nobody else was here on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of thing. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I mean, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. I've got any questions for you. Who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who is that? Finley lives on a nearby island. Comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to write for the dance competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while. She's probably prepping for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with this whole speaky situation going on. Mountain size. Got any questions for me? Okay. Dance competition. It's not a dance competition. Can you tell me a little bit more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Brush dancer wins. Okay. About the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How, how do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, a foolproof way to detect the spirit. I've read most of it. Anyway, the book says it's most ghosts can't be seen, and get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. I've got questions for you. Your, your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. And all about them. Cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? It made more sense in my head. I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry, I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are sorry. But did I mind not be a ghost? Do you really think it's not a ghost? I, I don't know for sure. Oh, let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualize exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves are the wind in their head. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? Not this beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. Oh, I popped my mic. No, the, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, oh, okay. Where is it? On, on a road trip? Oh, cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in. <laughs> Slowly. Nothing to worry about. Have ghosts around at all? Ghost is on a road trip. 
Yep, nothing to fear. Nice sandy beach, just me in the ocean. How do you feel? Oh, so relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That, that's okay. I have to give you something as thanks. Piece of my crown. Oh, well, we got gold. That's good. It's really heavy. Made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Oh, okay. You got any more questions? Oh, my arm is falling asleep. I hate this. God damn it. It's always good to take a rest. So, uh, my guess is now is that it's Finley in there. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious, but yeah. Alright, we need to learn the dance moves. Questions, yes. What you like to know? Dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, oh, I can't remember the monkey's voice. You like dancing, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Um, I like dancing a lot, it's just what you're asking. Uh, yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, if you saw someone dancing, what scenario would you like to be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think brand dancing so If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. Would it go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed. That I'd want to hang out with them all the time forever. That's, that's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll turn down a little bit. Oh, actually, instead of doing that, what if I do audio? Turn it down. There you go. Is that better? You have some questions. Quick questions, guess. Hey, I, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What, what did Mystery Monkey say? Is Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Ch cheers. Ah, my arm is feeling asleep. I don't like that. That's really annoying. Oh. He's like, oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go! Oh, I didn't see this as a hole. Can I go in this hole? Yeah. I have a spare magnifying glass. Interested? Interested? Are you kidding me? Is it very literally nothing I want more. Hey, here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Something they can do to repay you. Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine, but you give me my lunch. Ooh, what, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. It's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy is pasta. Anyway, my appetite is sated for the deliciousness of the magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like this pasta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yours. All right, now we got to give this guy the map. Like, again, I really feel weird about <laughs> the angle that we're at. It's a mouthwash for me. Amazing, thanks. I'm able to use your toothpaste. I almost forgot. Here you go, d -tank. All right, I think we got everything.
Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Well, you got everything. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Some dynamite. Yeah, yes. Let's do it. Let's so cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Oh. Well, this is it. Yep. It's hurry up. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, these voices are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not going to come into the cave. Yep, you're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a shiny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyways, good luck. You look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Getting ragdolled, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be Finley. It's Finley practicing her singing for the break dancing competition or the dancing competition. Oh my god! I'm expecting the game to be over. Look at these shrooms. You probably survived on the shrooms. <laughs> oh, hi. What? Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait, wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. Pretty well known around the land local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around here? <laughs> nah, just me down here. It's not no you're here. I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why, why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's ghosts in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, they take naps, and these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, no, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been sp super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Anyways, I do you know what those noises can be. Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has lots of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. But it sounds super warped, too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave's been blocked off by rocks. Huh, really? Huh. Yeah, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, you could have died. Huh. And then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Huh. Anyways, we should head back to the island. Yep. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. 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 What, what are you doing here? It was in the cave. You... What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. This is coming from her radio carried up the surface and sounded super spooky. My ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. Just goes to show you, you never trust books. Wait, wait, wait. I always use the internet instead. Oh, detective, please. <laughs> yeah, books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. Oh no. What? Hi there. Apologies for. What? 
I hope you're enjoying the game. What? I won't keep you for long. Well, I agree with the detective in most issues. <laughs> there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. <laughs> it's important to check the validity of author sources. Check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. <laughs> Make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> this game is a fucking acid trip. There is a saying, books have no place in our society. <laughs> That's your thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you were practicing with the competition this whole time? Yep, yeah, I meant to win it. So not even sure what the giant competition involves. Dance competition, best dancer wins. Well, this is competing. Hmm. To the point, She's just these guys. Don't forget to mow the mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I have a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, do the competition today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery detective. No problem at all. You had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everyone? Yep. Well, I give my thanks to Larry, too. So shall we boogie? Let's go! This game was silly. It's only supposed to be like an hour-long game. Oh my god, look at him go! It was on my recommended list, so I got it. There's three of them. Very much felt like a kid's game. rating on Steam. There's two other ones. I don't know if we're playing it. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. Okay, I think we practice enough. Oh, there's practicing? Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do that. Oh god, I gotta pick a winner? Oh, the slot's pretty good. so nervous. Single ladies, oh, the single ladies, oh, the single ladies. Oh god, I gotta pick the winner. All right, we're gonna give it to Mouse because Mouse really wanted to impress Mon Mystery Monkey, so we gotta pick the Mouse. You know, you gotta, you gotta give it to Mouse. Such a silly game. A little, oh my god, it's still going!
Oh, look. Oh. Frog Detective Crime Series Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How am I speaking? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island industry. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't even think Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyways, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Uh, yeah, where did you see that? It's on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD? C cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone's been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls about short dancing. But I did give one call about a case. You heard of the Warlock Woods? I, I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. Yeah. You're the best investigator in the job. Lobster cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle everything. The detective will return. Case of the Invisible Wizard. Did I get all the achievements? My achievements. How do I see? That was a cute little game. Oh, I've gotten all the achievements, chat. <laughs> so there's three other ones. There's the case of the invisible wizard. And then there's the other one, which is corruption at Cowboy County. <laughs> it was a cute little game. It's got overwhelming, a hundred percent reviews, and ninety-nine. So all over all reviews, ninety-nine percent. <laughs> I didn't think it was like groundbreaking. It was cute. Yeah, it's the, the, the creator did seem lovely. Although the next ones are high rated even higher. I don't know, my, my arms are kind of falling asleep though. But we can do the next ones if we really want. <laughs> I'm reading I'm reading the description for the second one. It says the frame fog detective returns in a thrilling mystery yet. A town's welcoming celebration for a mysterious invisible wizard has been ripped to shreds by an unknown culprit. The detective must find out who done it. Case of the Invisible Wizard is the second game in the Frog Detective series following the Haunted Island, which was loved by all. And then there's an asterisk and it says, except for one user on Steam who called it, quote, a middle finger and a waste of five dollars, but we can't win them all. <laughs> 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 there are a bunch of games. I gotta I gotta add. Uh, and then I bought another one. What was it? So, I bought all the Monkey Island games, by the way, guys. So, that's exciting. I bought, uh, Case of the Golden Idol. I also bought Ace Attorney. Uh, did I ever buy that escape from... No, I did not. Okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was a cute little game. I, 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 I don't have anything against it. I, I didn't really know what I was expecting going into it. Um, I 
It was a cute little game. It's like a little indie game. I, I had fun with it. Guys, do you want me to do the second one or should I go rest? I'm trying to decide because my, my, my arms are kind of feeling a little tired, but um, the second one looks like it's got even better reviews, which is say something. Yeah, I'll save it for another stream. Uh, um, we've got we've got a whole bunch of games to play at some point, chat. Um, I got a bunch in sale. Obviously, we're gonna finish up Baldur's Gate. I just wanted to do something a little different today from our sort of what we've been doing recently. Um, so, yeah. Lots of love, everyone. Uh, we can. Just, I think I'm just gonna end stream. I, my arms are falling asleep, so I, I realistically should go get some rest. But uh, lots of love, everyone, and um, have a good rest of your day. I might do a stream tomorrow for New Year's, but we will see. Alrighty, chat. Lots of love, and uh, have a good one. Bye. <laughs>